Movies big and small are filming all over Massachusetts at the moment. Among them is The Light Keepers, directed by Cape Cod's own Dan Adams. Jared Bowen went down to Barnstable last week where he spent a day on the film set and sat down with stars Blythe Danner and Richard Dreyfus. Down on Cape Cod, the sands have blown in and time has slowed. It's the early 1900s, as Hollywood would have it. I just like sort of the old-fashioned Cape Cod, you know, sp spinning a yarn type of story. Director Dan Adams has spent the better part of the last month filming The Lightkeepers on the Cape with a cast and crew of about 100. Co-written by Adams, it centers on a crusty old lightkeeper re-evaluating his solitude upon the arrival of two Boston women. It's drawn stars as bright as the lighthouse itself, including actor Richard Dreyfus. There really is a difference. This guy works, he lives here, and he shoots movies here, about here. And that alone is just to totally impressive. Uh, I believe Dan based this on several things, his, his own creative sensibility as well as uh, the, the book called The Woman Haters. And I keep saying I'm the woman hated. <laughs> We visited the Barnstable set last week as the crew filmed the arrival of the Boston women. Mrs. Bascom, played by Blythe Danner, and the prosperous Ruth Lowell, portrayed by Mamie Gummer. Because it is an independent film, also everyone who's here really wants to be here. You know, so it feels like everyone's banded together in this in this common goal to make this movie. The Lightkeepers is the second part of a planned turn of the century Cape trilogy. Last year, Adams shot The Golden Boys here, which saw a limited but highly successful release over the winter. His intent is unabashed. It's simple, old-fashioned filmmaking. I love the old uh, films by, uh, you know, Frank Capra and John Ford, and I'm trying to recreate those types of films for an audience that I think is out there uh, that uh, loves those kinds of films, and Hollywood just doesn't make them anymore. He has no wall that protects him from the comment and if someone's got a good idea he goes yeah we'll shoot that right now an actress of my years it's very rare to get to play a love story or to, uh, to have a, what such wonderful dimension in a part roll, please, roll sound. by all accounts Adams runs a relaxed set even long into a hot 12-hour day when the crew moves to filming a fresh scene where Dreyfus's character catches sight of his arch nemesis, played by Bruce Dern. It helps, the cast and crew say, that the director has so skillfully tapped into the tranquility of his own backyard. I'm so in love with Cape Cod, I just uh, want to come back. This is going to be my escape place for the rest of my life. Uh, it's awesome that I get to work all day and then uh, go home at night uh, to my family. It's what I live for. With filming nearly wrapped, The Light Keepers will be released next year. All right, and with me now is Nick Kiriologis of the Massachusetts Film Office. Welcome to you. Hey, Emily. This guy, Dan Adams, though, he's a real gem. And so it's natural that he would be shooting here in Massachusetts. Well, it's, it's great that he's shooting here in Massachusetts. He's got kind of a M. Night Shyamalan, Woody Allen mm -hmm. association with the place. Uh, uh, and uh, the idea that he's shooting uh, a trilogy here mm -hmm. is just great for us, great for the state. And you're expecting some 8 to 10 major motion pictures here? Yeah, maybe more. Really?